I'm working on ways to use my drone to create introductions. Uh, what I do now is say, this is where I'm at, and I walk, turn around in a circle, and you get to see where I'm at. I think the drone creates a more dramatic view. So let's try another angle, another uh, quick shot, it's called, on a Mavic Mini. it's pretty clear the Mavic Mini wins compared to me shooting it like this or turning the camera around to let you see where I'm at like this it's a beautiful beach and I'm playing with my toys this is another of the quick shots it's called circle and it just simply goes in a circle I can set it up higher or have it run in a larger circle, but I'm actually pretty concerned about the trees. I almost hit them with the other quick shot. And also speed the clips up, but I better stand still. Well, my cedar trees are growing new leaves, so I have to I can walk through them, but I have to duck the uh, camera down. I uh, went down to my mailbox the other day and got a few things that I had ordered and something I didn't order. Uh, this is upside down, uh, maybe Maybe it's a heater, uh, on-demand propane heater for my shower. These are gonna be masks that I bought and this letter came from somebody, so I've already opened it, but I'll show you what I got. It's a very nice gift, a gift card from uh, Paul. I won't say his last name, from Creston. Um, it's one of the best gifts you could get with my lifestyle. I'm traveling all over the place. This thing's good anywhere in North America. Can't, oh, it just says Canada on it, but so what? I'll, I can use some, a few Slurpees. I'll be able to use some Slurpees, some coffees, and there's maybe some other things I'll be able to get with this, but uh, what a nice gift, Paul. Thank you very much. I might actually be going through Creston this summer. If I am, I hope Paul gets a hold of me. Maybe we can get together and have a 7-Eleven coffee. Anyway, I'm going to get back to undoing or opening my boxes. First thing I want to look at is this. You know, because of the pandemic and uh, the work I'm going to do, I'll be working with some models. They have to like basically anybody's client has to feel safe. So um, most of the time, or some of the time, I'll be wearing a mask because the, uh, the, the intention is to have them feel safe and comfortable. And of course, they have to feel safe and comfortable in order to do what they want to do, which is model for a camera. So I bought, gee, they don't look like much, but 10 of these white guys and 10 black ones for black dudes, classic mask. I'm gonna uh, see, what do I have, do I have to, I wonder if they, this one comes in a resealable kind of bag. Well, it looks like it does. So I'm gonna take out the black guy first if I can get that figure it out damn it it's not that easy if you're an old guy with no fingernails anyway so here's my mask 
you guys can tell me how it looks and if it makes any sense maybe I look better <laughs> probably do cover up half my face and I'm look a lot better <laughs> who knows I might look younger and sexier this is all it is it's a tiny little mask but oh I see it works pretty good now I can go rob a bank what's this white stuff down below get rid of that okay so what's the verdict do I look like a mask a mask a dangerous mask man or just some guy with a sock on his face anyway that doesn't look too bad it works I can breathe pretty well I can talk through it and I don't think I'm too muffled I don't know I'm gonna find out after I uh, finish after I edit the video then I'll be able to find out but they look pretty good, eh? Pretty good mask. The white, the black one. Now the white ones are clearly different because they come in a different bag. We better check that. You guys can tell me whether I look better in black or white. Or maybe I should use the white guys. Put the black guy over my mouth and the uh, white guy up like that so I hide my whole face. Anyway. So there we go, there's the white guy. These are amazingly comfortable. I'm surprised. I mean, it's, um, these are not uh, like medically approved. These are simply a mask to cover them up my face. But I could also put more uh, material in here. Like uh, for example, I know I could put uh, a couple of layers or two or three layers of paper towel and it'll work way more effectively but it's pretty good and I can breathe pretty loud and I think you can hear me uh, we'll see later on when I edit the video so I've got these guys I can wash them I've got 10 pairs of each so I can do lots of photo shoots uh, keep everybody happy and uh, maybe even save myself from a COVID-ish COVID death or being sick from COVID. It may help me uh, if they happen to have some, uh, if they're carrying or something like that. Anyway, back at the 10, they're like, a, I think they were like a buck 50 or maybe $2 each. So I've got 20 masks, 10 white, 10 black. Uh, that sort of uh, like admin because this is the this is the real goodie this is the thing that I've been waiting for for months now I've been waiting for yeah like six weeks it is a propane heater it's a heats on demand and so we're gonna get this thing open I'll try and turn this so that it, you can sort of see what I'm doing I've got a trusty little paring knife type thing and I am going to get rid of this clear tape as quickly as I can. Odd, it's pretty it's hard to get to rip apart. Anyway, so there we go, open. Now we have a machine in a plastic bag which I'm I'm simply going to get inside the bag to try and get its name it's called a Gasland outdoors heater so this is the gas water heater portable tankless and these are the installation instructions so I got to get out of here I can't get my leg through that hole but I can take, take it over the so, to get this out of here, maybe it's easiest to take this box out first. Now I've lost my bearing knife. What did I do with that? There it is, underneath the, underneath the instructions. So, what I need to do is check this out. And obviously, I'm going to move the camera further away.
so that you get a better view of what I'm doing. Now the water heater was supposed to come with a few parts. Uh, one is a hose. This hose is to connect this hose. I'm going to come over here. Maybe I can do this better. Uh, this hose is to uh, connect to the shower. This is a regulator with a tank hose. This is a clamp that I can screw to the wall if I want to hold it up. This is a tool to fix something, I don't know. Uh, there's the, what it's going on. No, that doesn't even fit. <laughs> anyway, so there are some parts and pieces to connect it. And there is a little shower. A shower with a stop start button on it. It doesn't push the, oh, what does it do? Oh, so it's hard to push, but it put, you push it through there and it'll stop it. You push it that way and it'll start it. So I won't waste too much water. Uh, however, it's got, I don't know why, how it, it's got a piece of plastic over the hole. So you won't see that. But anyway, it'll stop and start when I want it to. Maybe I should put that back in the bag and I won't have garbage. I won't have the garbage. Uh, blowing around the yard, around the place. What else did I get? I got some, oh geez, I don't remember, the tape for, or Teflon tape for connections like this. So I'm going to put this all back in the box, get it out of our way, and uh, put it aside. Now I can haul this guy out of here pretty easily. And you can get an idea of the size. So, it is, it has, I think it's upside down at the moment. It has a, a gas inlet, which is pretty simple. Water outlet and water inlet. And, so when it's upside up, it looks like this. There's a uh, huge a funnel here like a chimney. And there's a handle on it so that I can hang it in the woods or hang it wherever I want. But what I'm going to do is use that. I have to put it down here so you can see it. It's this handle is what I'm talking about on the top. I'm going to attach that to the door on my bus so I can open the door, hang this thing right there and have a shower right out the side door. You know, the, the doors that open and close the bus doors. So I'll give you a look at the bottom. And we have on top uh, a cold water. I guess this is a mix from cold to, to hot. And this is how hot do you want the water? something like that I don't know I'm gonna have to read the instructions but here's a this one has a, a blue arrow so it seems to be dealing with cold water and the other one would be dealing with hot water so pretty simple there's a uh, what is that a battery needs to go in there and then I'm going to connect uh, I guess that's gas because I can't see the, the sign but gas and then water in and out turn it on and away we go obviously I gotta figure out what bat oh those are quite large the large large batteries and then you turn this to lock it so uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day you'll see this installed uh, it's a beautiful night but uh, I don't feel like installing it tonight however I sure would like a hot shower I am due for one so I'm waiting one more day then I can have my shower uh, but uh, geez I don't know what to say about this I got my mask it's, it was, it's kind of fun to actually receive stuff in the mail I have never well I shouldn't say never I don't often get um, mail from subscribers or from people viewing the videos but it's really nice to get something once in a while 
It's really cool. Thank you. I forgot your name. What's your name? Paul. Yeah, Paul. So, thank you, Paul. Uh, I hope I've got my video finished, but I might end it with a sunset because it's been raining all day, but the sun's come out, and because there's lots of clouds and it's possibly quite stormy looking, uh, in fact, uh, according, according to the uh, news or the, uh, the weather report, it could be very cloudy, a beautiful sunset with a, a dark clouds and there may be some thunder and if there was thunder there may be some lightning so imagine me taking a video and catching a sunset with some lightning in it anyway i might be doing that at the end of this video it sort of depends so i'm going to go start to edit it now and we'll see what i've got but if i don't show you the sunset or even if i do show you the sunset thanks a lot for watching this long and uh I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I'll see you again. Have a great day.